Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Ask Diabola Shade with your host, Dr. Diabola Shade, LCSW, and I'm back with a new video. If you are new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and microlocks, and I'm so excited to bring you my three-year microlocks update. Y'all, I know I've been missing all summer. It is now September. I just passed my anniversary, my lock anniversary, and I, I am trying to get back to making content. It's just, I, I've been working a lot. Not to give y'all no full update, because that is not why y'all here. A full update as far as my life. But I did get a little baby. Let me show y'all. I'm sure y'all see him running in the back. Devontae. This is Devante Aramis. Yes, he has an ethnic name. Don't talk about me because I want my baby to know where his roots are from. But y'all, this is Devante. I've had him for about a month now. He is five months old. I got him when he was four. And he's a Taurus, like his mommy. Hey. He's so adorable. He's a Cavapoo. So I've been taking care of him as well as working more and I started him a TikTok. So if you want to go see just him and you ain't thinking about me, then Devante Aramis the Cavapoo is on TikTok. Okay, mommy, I get back to work. Go have fun. So y'all, that's what I've been doing. This video hopefully won't be too long. I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all know before we get started, let me go ahead and show y'all how much my hair has progressed in the past three years. I'm gonna insert some photos over here, okay? Now we are in three years. We are at three years. I am not gonna give y'all a lock tour. I'll probably say that for another video. And I'm probably not gonna really let y'all go into my scalp today like I normally do because I need to wash my hair. Usually when I come and do an update, my hair got fresh retie and my scalp is clean. It's not clean today, but I will turn around so y'all can see it. Forgive me for looking like somebody's flight attendant. I mean, they be looking cute, but I had to go to chapter meeting today. And this is my hair, y'all. This, this is the length. I'm trying to clean my hair back because I be wanting to do that. But the B, <laughs> she's giving. Okay, y'all see that? Y'all see that? My hair is, it has grown tremendously and now I'm here to give y'all updates. I will be looking at my iPad, so just bear with me. The first update I want to give y'all is that I truly believe my hair is a bra strap length now. I've seen it really grow. Like, I really hope. Let me stand up. Yeah. Bra, my bra's right here. Bra strap length. Bra strap length. Like, come on. So that's a great thing. I, I'm excited that my hair is just continuing to thrive despite all that I went through in year two. Year two was just a very hard year for me and my locks. It was a very hard year. Y'all, if y'all been following me, y'all already know what happened this year too. If y'all are new to my channel, then you can go ahead and look at my entire micro locks playlist from when I started on install day until now. It has every video I've ever done, ever done. The first year I documented every month of my progress. And then once I got to one year, I just did different other different videos. So feel free to just go ahead and watch this so you can see why my year two was so hectic with my hair because I was about to calm these things out and start over. So that's the great thing is that my hair, it has literally thrived and grown and shifted. I don't know what he's doing back there. So he's on his little, hey, leave it alone. He's potty trained, so thank God. Second update that I now put deep conditioner and conditioner on my locks now. I did have the coloring fiasco and we know how that went. So I am now putting deep conditioner and conditioner on my locks. If you want to see the products that I'm using on my micro locks now, I can do a video on that. But I usually do the deep conditioner once a month and I usually do conditioner every every time I wash my hair. The times that I am using a deep conditioner, I do not use a conditioner. I just wash, deep condition, sit under the hooded dryer for about 30 minutes and rinse it out with cold water. So I am currently using deep conditioner and conditioner on my locks, which has been so helpful in me retaining moisture and just healing those bonds 
that were broken with that color treatment. My next update, of course, I am still healing from, my hair is still healing from the color damage. I feel like it's definitely nothing, none of my locks have broken off. I just had to find a better moisture routine to help me. Now, even though I use permanent dye, my hair is starting to look a little brown and I'm starting to see hints of the color that I had. So, you know, who knows? I may end up deciding to dye my hair again, like a black color, but it will be a semi-permanent. Of course, I will take y'all on that journey if I do decide to do that. But right now, I'm just gonna leave it alone. But I'm thinking about possibly dyeing my hair to get rid of like, so it can just be like fully neutral. Cause I don't know if y'all can see that. Like, can y'all see that that's like brown and not black anymore? Like it's not jet black anymore. Retwist versus retie. Now y'all know I have been keeping y'all updated about me possibly going to full retwisting. I have gotten my hair retwisted before. I already did a video on my first retie. I'm actually getting my hair done in about two days and I will be getting it retied again. In between that retightening and the one that I'm doing in two days, I did get an interlock retightening because I was going to Cancun and I knew I was gonna be in the water and I just didn't wanna have to worry about my hair. But now that I'm back, I don't have any big vacations in the foreseeable future as far as like for the rest of the year so i am still going back and forth as to whether i want to do like retwist maybe you know once like retwist one six weeks and then six weeks later do a retirement and go back and forth someone did let me know that they feel like that would impact the integrity of my lock because it wouldn't what how i feel my locks don't look cohesive either. Like, anyway, regardless if it how it looks on camera, my locks, there I have this super, super long lock that's, none of my locks look the same. Let me just say it. So it really kind of doesn't matter to me if it doesn't look seamless. So I guess that's really not a big deal to me. When I was talking to the lock station that's been doing my hair since I moved to Atlanta, she was saying that's what a lot of her micro locks clients do. They go from getting their hair retightening one session, then the next session retwist and back and forth and back and forth. So I am leaning towards either doing retwist only, honestly. And that's because I'm just kind of ready for a change, but we shall see. I might also do maybe like retighten my hair once to twice per year. I'm also leaning towards that. Of course, I'll take y'all on the journey, but that's what I'm looking for going into year four. Another update for my locks. I have started making my own leave-in conditioner. I've already did a short on just me using my own leave-in conditioner. I'm also thinking about doing a video detailing like how I make it. I just wanna make sure that it's, I'm gonna stick to this recipe before I make a video. I know people have asked me about it and I'm definitely gonna wait until I, like really lock in on the recipe because I've been changing it up to see what I like on my hair, but I would love to share it with y'all and I'm gonna share it with y'all. So just bear with me, but I have been loving using my own leave-in conditioner. One frugal friend over here likes to save coins. <laughs> so I don't have to keep spending money. Like it is, it's so much more affordable to make your own products. So I definitely have been loving making my own leave-in spray. The base is rosemary, so bull and rosemary, which you can find that recipe anywhere on TikTok or YouTube. Once I lock in on that I'm for sure this is my recipe, then I definitely will do a video for y'all. So make sure you subscribe so you can see all of that. My next update going into year four, I have been on a edge growing journey, especially this past year. If you watch my 2024 goals for my micro locks, I have been on a edge growing journey. I have been on an edge growing journey and I was using different oils from different companies and y'all, it's just, I'm not really seeing any improvements. So they might not just ever be full or thick anymore. This doesn't have anything to do with my lock journey. It just has to do with how I took care of my hair prior to starting my locks, letting you know individuals braid my hair so close to the edge, knowing that it was hurting, not taking it out, tension, alopecia. But right now I am trying something different. I am using the 5% Rogaine, the foam. I've been using it only for a month, so not super long. 
I'm trying that now and I'm doing it on my eyebrows. Let me not wipe them off because I actually painted them on today. And I'm doing them on my edges. So the hair grows around my edges, but it just doesn't go in, this, in these two spots right here. <laughs> Someone told me they see some follicles in there. Well, no, I'm gonna have to end up being a turkey, okay? Take some hair back here, put it right here, I don't know. <laughs> but right now, I am using the foam Rogaine. And if you wanna see all the products that I am using on my locks, then you can also, I'll link it below, my Amazon storefront, and you can check that out. I am also using oil on my locks. I don't do it often. I may do it maybe once every two to three weeks, maybe even once a month. And it's usually only on wash day. So after I'm done washing my hair and I moisturize it with my leave-in, I will go seal it in with the black castor oil. There's a couple of ones that I've been using that I really, really like. I stopped using coconut oil, y'all. Coconut oil, and I know I've already done a video, but coconut oil was breaking me out all down my neck, all down my back. I thought I was getting allergic to my hair. I was like, what is going on now that my hair was longer? But turns out it was coconut oil. Once I took that out, my skin cleared up, my skin around my chin, even though I started using tretinoin as well, but my skin all on my neck and my back cleared up. So I was like, thank you, baby Jesus. <laughs> that was really, I was getting very discouraged. This year two again was just so hard. Like this year two was just so difficult. I feel like it really like challenged me in my, I don't wanna say my faith, but challenged me in regards to, am I truly gonna be a lot girly? Like, and not to judge anyone that decide to comb out their locks or start new locks, like no judgment on them, but I just feel like locks have become such a fad, you know, including me, like I've jumped on it and I'm just like, damn, was this just a fad for me? But it was just really challenging. It was challenging because of the color that went wrong. You know, it was challenging because my hair is also in an uneven state right now. There are times where my hair, I feel like it catches up. And then there's time where the bottom of just, it'll start jetting out. And I'll be like, how am I wearing my hair? So it's been a lot of challenges. Again, the edge growth challenge has also, you know, been challenging for me. So I was like, this is too much. Maybe I need to go back to wearing wigs. Like... But I am sticking it out. I am not thinking about combing out my locks or chopping off or starting a new set. We gonna keep on rocking with these cause they are thriving and I love my hair and I love my crown. And I'm so happy that I did this. Okay, so that was it as far as the update. Now y'all submitted some questions in under my community tab, under two pictures that I posted. So we're gonna go ahead and answer some of your questions today we're gonna start with i want to say ashanti full forward six two five nine first of all thank you so much for leaving a comment shante says my question is when does the shrinkage stop and if it doesn't how can i combat that to keep my hair stretched because it seems like when i get my retie i can finally see all of my limb but over the next couple of days it shrinks right back above my shoulders again lol so just tips for that or the timeline for when it stops shrinking sorry for the long question you do not have to apologize you know i think my hair still shrinks when i get a retie baby length 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 okay but after a couple days you know being in that bun it starts to curl up on itself the only time i really see my hair in its full entire length Length is either after I wash it, but again, it shrinks back up, or if I do a braid out, and I usually might do a chunky braid out. So that can help with, you know, keeping your hair more elongated. Not that you have to put products on your hair, but I notice when I put products on my hair or even put mousse on my hair, it allows it to kind of fall because it kind of makes it a little more heavy. But I, I don't have that problem as much as I had it when I first started my life journey. So I will say if you continue on your journey in a couple of years, you probably, because of the weight of the maturity of the locks, you probably won't have it as often. Because I'm getting ready to go, you know, do retwists, I don't really know how my hair gonna act. But right now, when I do a good little braid out, I get to see the length. The next question we have is by Kendra Duckworth 283. I know you were a little concerned about the health of your hair after the coloring. Are things better now? Overall, Kendra, I would say that my hair is definitely better. I had to just find a moisture routine that really worked for me. And again, I'm just taking it one day at a time. 
you know, the last time I colored my hair, was it what, March? I, I wanna say it was March, maybe, or April, I think it was April. So it is September now, and again, we haven't lost any locks, and my hair feels moisturized. It just took me finding a routine that worked for me. But thank you for checking in. Now we got two questions from this YouTuber, Peggy Cow. The first one is, have you ever done any style over your locks, braids, invisible locks, wigs? If yes, how long did it take for your locks to recover from the tension? And also, what's your dream length? That's the length your hair would get to before you start to trim it. Let's go with the first one. No, I have not done any style looks over my hair at all. I've been wanting to, but I haven't. Even when I talked to my past loctician and my current loctician, they just advised against it. One, I have fine textured hair, and they'll just like they just feel like it'll be too heavy just in general. So I think I might have to throw that dream away. So I can't tell you how to recover from the tension because I've never done it. When it comes to my dream length, my dream length is for, and I mean this not to be funny, I want my hair to touch the, the top crack of my ass. Like for real, like that's what I want. I want my hair down, okay? I want, I want it down. After that, I feel like I'll start trimming it. As much as I don't care for like how it's, like you see how, I don't know if y'all can see how it's short here, but then you got all this hair right here. Like it's such a drastic from here to here. I don't like my cut right now, but I'm just dealing with it as far as like, I know that eventually it catches up again. I can always do a side part, but yeah, my dream length is to be like past waist length for sure. The next question comes from Osseo x -Wing. Wow, I'm so sorry if I butchered that. Did you stick with retwisting or back to reties? Also, how's your skip, scalp help three years in? I'm almost a year in and it feels like it's a lot of tension for me, but I'm going to go down from three point to two point rotation to see if that helps then just retwist as a last resort. So right now, I'm still not fully committed to a method just yet. Uh, I have done a retie, six weeks later did a, no, I did a retwist, six weeks later did a retie, and now I'm about to do another retwist in a couple of days. My scalp health is great. I am still using the Head and Shoulders Royal Oils, not as frequently though. I think because I also wash my hair a little more frequently, I try to wash it once a week or stretch it out to two, every two weeks, but my scalp has been good. The Severine Dermatitis, I rarely ever see it. Honestly, now if I look right now, if I showed y'all right now, it's probably little white flakes on my scalp, like on this, in this area. But for the most part, my scalp is doing really well. Last question. This is from Yahush, Yahusha's daughter, 9106. I'm so sorry if I pronounced these wrong. Almost five months now. I watched your video yesterday on how to fix the holes on a lock and it was helpful, though I struggled to fix one because the ends were locked already, but I fixed it regardless. What advice do you have for someone with a five month old lock? Some advice that I would give to someone with five months, just limit everything you do. Limit how often you touch your hair, limit what products you use. You really only need a shampoo and possibly just a liquid leave-in, not the cream, a liquid leave-in. I would just leave my hair alone. The reason I got locks, I was doing a lot of braid outs, but I even think just, cause I was braiding and banding my hair, which I still would say braid and band your hair until your hair is fully mature, but I was doing a lot of braid out. So that was kind of contributing to me having to fix holes in my lock. Once I kind of just stopped doing this, I would stretch out my wash days and then I would wash my hair in the braid and band method, let it fully dry. And then I would take them down and probably possibly leave them out for two weeks. That kind of helped me not get any more holes in my locks. But understand that sometimes you just gonna get them. Like whether you're doing retie, like locks just gonna do what they wanna do. But that's my advice. Enjoy the journey as well. I know even for myself, I was looking at, ooh, how this YouTuber's hair looks at this day and how this YouTuber's hair looks at this day. So it sometimes it was hard for me to be present and enjoy the stage that, stage that I was in. Now looking back as I collected pictures for my one year, I was like, oh my goodness, like I really miss my curly ends. As much as I love my lock hair and my fully mature hair, 
I loved my curly ends. So sometimes you're like, oh my God, it was so adorable. So I would say enjoy the journey. And also, you know, it's okay to not do what other people are doing with, doing with their hair. And that may mean that you might start using conditioner sooner than someone else, or you may cut your hair. You get to make your own rules. I mean, you can let people guide you, but at the end of the day, you're capable of making the best decision for your own hair. So just trust yourself in regards to that. All right, y'all. Thank you. I know this video probably still ended up being kind of long, but thank you for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. We want you here. Okay, I'm going to try to get back to consistently posting. Also, y'all, I done got my book back on Instagram. <laughs> so go ahead and check out my Instagram, X Diavola Shade, my TikTok, Dr. Period Diavola, Devontae's page, Devontae Aramis, the Cavapoo on TikTok. And of course, y'all know I'm on Twitter, so ask Diablo Shade. And I look forward to seeing y'all in my next video. Bye.